Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Card Life. All right. Last episode, we made these stations. And we uh, got into some battles with some uh, wolves and... What was this? Uh, the Flying Dudes. For some reason, I can't think of the name off the top of my head. And in this episode, we're probably going to go spelunking and uh, work on some of these to see what we can make with them. So I don't know if I have enough metal to make. I might have enough to make a new sword and a pickaxe. That would be nice. I'll stick with uh, stone axes for now. They, they seem to work just fine at the moment. But my trees are starting to run out out here. Because off camera yesterday, I built another room. And I, like I said, I was going to build a chest room. And I did. I made it kind of like a shed. But I'll show that in a minute. Alright, yeah, I went through several axes yesterday, cutting down trees. I think I changed this one. No. What did I make? Oh yeah, it was a pickaxe, because I was digging up dirt. I call this <laughs> this pickaxe... Uh, Dr. Robotnik pickaxe or Dr. Eggman pickaxe and I had a uh, a viewer yesterday tell me how to cut after making a design so apparently when you like you build something for some reason I didn't see it and I thank you for the viewer I'm not sure if I should give you a shout out I'll ask and I'll do that next episode or if you're watching this particular episode, you're going to tell me, go ahead and I can say your name. Because I don't know if I should. But uh, if you uh, make something. Let's see how much uh, how much copper do I have here. I got 22 bars, so let's see if I can make any more. Yeah. I can make four. My wood's getting low because I built that shed and it takes a lot of supplies to make buildings wood supplies all right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to try to make me a new sword and a pickaxe i do have this sword that was given away for free but i might save it for later and i need to build some more chests that's something i'm going to do in this episode as you see here my inventory is full quite full all right let's see what can i make here all right so we got a I'm missing leather, coarse leather strips. Alright, so I can make some coarse leather, but I don't have very much. I got this much. This is all uh, enemy drops. So let's see if I can go ahead. Yeah, I can even. What am I missing? Just. It only counts coarse hide. Rugged leather. What's that count? Oh, it still costs the same. I can't make very much, can I? So apparently these two right here don't count. Only this one counts. Where'd that go? Well. There's a problem. I thought I could make these into... The other leather. I swear I could before. Hmm. Oh, here we go. That's how you make the others. I'm gonna do three. Alright. That makes a little bit more sense. Why'd I leave that station? Alright, so... I can't only make what? Oh, that's still full. That's what I do. All right, there we go. We got some strips. I got nine of them. All right. Well, what I want to make? Do I have a? I got a copper short sword. Sixty-five to eighty-eight compared to fifty to sixty-eight. Okay, so it's better. Alright, let's craft ourselves one of these swords. Alright, let's see here. 
So the guy told me, see the scissors right here. After you draw your shape, you can use scissors afterwards to cut out designs in it and stuff like that. If that makes any sense. So let's see. Let's make another scimitar. Why not? Because scimitars are awesome. Let's go across. Then if you use scissors, you can go across inside. So let's... Can I not do it? Oh, there we go. Back. For some reason, you have to stay within this uh, dark line. So what I'm going to do is just make it like a hollow sword so it'll be weird looking. I don't know if that's going to count. A, nah. Back. It looks like a banana. Alright, we're just going to make a hollow sword just for the funds of it. Boom. <laughs> it looks like a moon. Alright, okay, so scimitar. What was my other handle? Just like a straight bar, pretty much. So what you need is a hand guard. Just like this. And then go down. But if you're if the viewer that gave me that comment yesterday in my last episode would like to have his uh, have a shout out, let me know. So I don't mind giving you a shout out because I appreciate the tip. Any help is, you know, good help, you know. All right, there we go. That's a weird looking sword. Looks uh, kind of fantasy kind. I right, can stay in, in there. Uh, well, that doesn't really work. Can't really draw on there very well. I'm trying to like hollow this out just for the for the hecks of it. There we go. One copper sword is made. Awesome. Let's replace the stone sword for now. We got this extra one that's normal. So let's build us a pickaxe. Oh yeah. Like having the extra... What'd you call it? For some reason I just lost my train of thought. Alright, I'm gonna try to do another Dr. Robotnik. Just because it's funny. Now let's go down. Let's give him a weird chin. Because you have to have something at the base, right? Oh, he's lopsided. Dr. Robotnik is lopsided. <laughs> right, so... Uh, Well, it's going to be a weird Dr. Robotnik. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what it is. What is it, guys? What is it? Alright, let's build a uh, a weird, weird Dr. Robotnik body. That doesn't look right. Looks more like a weird sack person or something from... Uh, <laughs> what is it? What is it? No. What? What happened? I didn't. I hit this. All right. I'm confused. All right. Now he's gonna be bulkier. <laughs> These arms, though. Majestic. Majestic. All right. So I don't know what to cut out here. Let's make him a hollow like in Dark Souls. There. You just need humanity. And you'll be alright. <laughs> I know I'm weird. I'm crazy like that. Alright, so I got a pickaxe and a sword. I think that's all I'm going to use right now. I know I should have built a shovel. Like a stone one at least. I kind of want to try out one of these bows though. What does it require? I need five thread. And I'm out of copper, so I guess we're going to go splunking, guys. And I got a building to show you guys. All right. Oh, oh it's backwards. I should have went the other way. Now it's a hook. We got ourselves a hook. Ah, sweet. Blacksmith. Oh, I get times four. Maybe I can build something in. We'll see. But keep in mind, guys, I'm really still pretty new at this game. So, yeah, keep that in mind. 
And uh, that guy that helped me out, which I'm not going to name until he tells me it's okay. I do appreciate the help. Alright, yeah, I can't build it. It costs a bunch. So what should I build? A crossbow? Well, crossbow's got more damage. But that reload time's really bad. That's why. That's the compromise right there. Now, it's so interesting to be able to use a crossbow. Alright, let's go mining. We got stuff to do. We've been sitting in the house for way too long. There's my shed. Alright, so. It's pretty good size, so I can put plenty of chests in there. I have this slant on one side. Some funky looking windows. And I put some slits up here. I was trying to make it look like, like slats in a board, like on a, when you build something like a porch or something, you have like wooden beams going across, or like the uh, boards itself with the slats in between, or the uh, openings, and I have uh, you know, the wall torches and stuff in there, I could put a bunch of chests in here, that's basically for storage, and I have this stone walkway, and I did learn something else yesterday, was, which was kind of neat. Because I didn't know you can do this. Because I was, I was digging up all this dirt. But it was taking out a bunch at a time. And I was like. I was like. I was. I hope that they can like fix the. Accuracy of digging. And I. And apparently they did. And I didn't notice. And I built ramps with PMG on it. For uh, Papa Meerkat Gaming. Just for the heck of it. Okay. So. If I look at this. That's not showing me anything. Why is it not showing me anything? It was with my stone one, so... Alright, see it has a circle? Alright. You can change the circle with the right mouse button. You can do one little nugget at a time. You could do a lot all at once, which was... It's set to default, which is three layers deep in that circle. Or you could do a single layer at a time. Which is awesome. I didn't know that was a thing until I started messing around with it yesterday. I was thinking, okay, so when you, uh, and you could do it for putting down blocks too, one layer at a time, one negative at a time, or three. I, I thought this was awesome. Let's go ahead and put some of this dirt back. We got too much dirt. But yeah, it, it, I think it's really cool that they did that. I didn't know it was a feature until just the other day, or yesterday, when I was building that house. I'm going to use up the stone one first. It's a good idea. But yeah, you could change how much you can dig at a time. One tiny nugget. All three layers. Or one single layer. Alright, I need to go find me some more metal here. For some reason, I'm feeling oddly nervous today. I don't know why. That's why I'm sounding different. Don't know why. Well, I am still new to this YouTube thing. I've only been doing it for so many months. Like, four months? Five? Almost five months now? There's some people out there that's born, you know, they're like, born... They, what am I trying to say? They're like, born to do this kind of stuff. That's what I'm trying to say, exactly. I sound like a complete raving fool right now. That's what it is. Maybe because I finally got a comment. Nobody comments on my videos. You know, some constructive criticism or helping me out or just want to chat. Even though I hate trying to chat on my phone. You know why? Because YouTube won't fix the... Uh, comment thing for on the phone and what I mean by that is that go down man why do you have one glowing eye and one non glowing eye weird oh crab claw nice it's the first time I got a crab claw where'd it go ah there you are do you eat this a crab claw that can be used in enchanting okay sweet wonder what it does but yeah um... The phone version, they won't update the phone version. 
I don't like watching my own videos. I want my videos to be viewed by everybody else so I can know exactly how many people is watching my stuff. Basically, my own personal analytics without looking at the analytics. So, every time on my phone, because I don't, I don't have my computer on 24-7. I, I turn it off after I'm done uploading and stuff. And because of that, I have my phone to look up what people are saying and whatnot, or whoa, Gabby. Hey, I hit you. You have no health missing. Oh, the timer. You see the timer down there? It's a it takes a little longer with the copper sword. Oh, there's some copper down here. I'll take that. I want to build me a bow. But I do need to build some chests, so I need to go and farm a little bit more wood. Might do that off camera. Save you guys the uh, having to watch me fill an entire room full of chests or something. And farming wood. When I'm mining like this, I just keep it on this default three layers at a time. And get as much as you can out of it. And try to aim for the actual ore in the ground. If you try to aim a little off of the ore, you'll be hitting the dirt instead and it won't give you the item. But sometimes it'll destroy the item. I've had that happen before. Because you'll destroy the dirt around it and then the uh, ore itself will just go with it. Yeah, I did see that uh, ruby up there. Is that another goblin I heard? Yep. Yep, you can see the copper sword does a lot more damage. Still takes several hits, so... Oh, I got some rawhide. Nice. Alright. Let's go back and get that ruby I left behind. Can't really leave rubies, right? Because oh. I do believe that these gems are allowed... Uh, or will allow you to get better crafting depending on rarity of gem. But don't quote me on that though, because I've never enchanted anything in this game. I built the enchanting table before, but I never used it. Yeah, I should get make a, a shovel to break dirt. Because pickaxes break faster with dirt, it seems. Whoa, whoa. I'm, I'm like sinking in there. Uh oh. Can I get out? Um, come on. There you go. That was creepy. I thought I was stuck for good. Ooh. I'm getting stuck again. Alright. And keep an open mind when you're playing this game. If you do get this game, which I do recommend, it's actually a lot of fun so far. But there's still a lot of bugs in it because the developers are still working on it. So when you go into this game, keep an open mind. I've been in here before. See, there's a torch. You are hungry. I'm always hungry. Is this, I think this is that same place I met in that uh, golem. Which I think I died. Oh, new pickaxe. I think this is iron. Awesome. Well, dude. Yep. Pay, uh, copper will get iron. What is that sound? I am freaked out right now. I can tell you one thing about this uh, card life. That sound design, though. They did pretty good on that sound design, I guess. Hearing creepy sounds in the background and stuff. Wolves. Howling and random sounds. I feel like some of this ore is going up inside the ceiling, which this game, a lot of stuff does that to you. Man, I'm about to sneeze. Dying. Don't you hate that when your nose is itching really, really bad and you can't stop it? holding it back 
Hey. Something just swing on me. There's a lot of iron here, which is awesome, but I'm thinking I'm losing half of it to the ceiling. Which is suck if it is. But you know, it's, it's still a learning process. I barely know that much about this game. I bought it months ago. I spent a whopping six dollars on this game. Six dollars. Because I heard about it on YouTube and somebody was talking about it. And I was like, ooh, what's this game? So I like Minecraft and those games and Terraria. And uh, because I do, there's a Dryads. For some reason, I just remember the name of them. Oh, I was about to starve. Keep about half. Uh oh. I think that last time this dude took me out. Oh yeah. He got a lot of health too. Almost a thousand. Look at that. Technology completed. Did I get something for that? Robot eye. Oh, I hear another one. I don't know if I should be this deep. It's getting kind of scary down here. I think I've, I've kind of cheesed that robot. What the? I don't know where you came from, bro, but... He takes about 60 health every hit, too. That's pretty good. Pretty good amount of damage, I'd say. Do you got drop any special souls? I think that'd be kind of cool. If you watched my last episode, I got some souls, and those things are awesome. There's probably different tiers of souls, too. Oh, you only dropped the gear? Oh, you dropped the Prototype Robot Eye. A Prototype Robot Eye that can be used in enchanting. Okay. Cool. There's a lot of enchanting items, so I'm wondering... If, depending on the, the rarity of creature slash difficulty of creature, better the enchant, maybe? And you probably use these as the catalyst, or you like your EXP equivalent, like in Minecraft. Hmm. Huh. It's probably like a monster, I, a monster drop with this as your uh, EXP equivalent, and then a gem... Plus a, a relic, which are like these. And you get like stone versions and you get wooden versions. That's like, that's probably how it goes. But like I said, I've never done the uh, enchanting before, so that's completely new to me. Um, okay. What is this? Copper. For a second there, it had like a gold look to it, and I wouldn't be able to mine it. So I, I remember that I think there's like a gold or some other cobalt or something that you can't mine unless you have iron. I was like, yeah, if I can mine it, then it's probably copper. I think that still needs some work, though, if the developers are listening. And I hope they are. Is that, uh, try to fix the drops of your items when you dig them up. Because they still tend to try to go up into the ceiling. And you kind of lose them. Sorry if it's kind of dark down here. I don't have any torches on me. Oh, I do have a torch. But I can't put it down. Let's try to remember to keep the... Hand torch out. There we go. So I can at least see something, right? Oh, fall damage. I don't want fall damage. Don't know if it exists, but I don't want to try it. Some games are very... Oh, man, what the... What the... Come on. So, in uh, most of these uh, games, that's building, survival... Besides Ark, which you can't really dig in that game... Oh, what was that? Oh, I'm scared. 
No, please don't. I'm trying to time my attacks. Oh, we're doing that. I'm going to miss every other hit. Yep. Oh no, guys. Oh, I have enough hunger to do it. I almost died there. <laughs> I almost died. But good thing I had enough of my hunger bar. Right. We have the technology. Robots have a chance to drop machine parts, which are used to craft more advanced equipment. Machine parts come in a variety of uh, complexities, depending on power and age of the creature. Ooh. And I get two more gears. Awesome. It's not like I'm a raving fool in this uh, this uh, this video. Well, normally I think I am. <laughs> this is my dirt. This is not naturally spawned. I put that there when I was looking for ore. If you're wondering why that's just this nugget sticking out of there. Golly, it is really glitchy trying to walk around in these caves. It's like stuff stops you even though there's nothing there. And you get forced off like that. I don't know why, but you do. Where did I come from? And stop falling down, dude. Dude. Man. Alright, I think I came from up there. Which I don't even know how I got out the first time. So if you hold down the mouse button, if it breaks the blocks... Well, the uh, rocks or dirt that was already there, it doesn't dig through. That's a bit of a bug, I think. There we go. But I'm impressed with this game. It's pretty awesome. And it's neat. It's unique. It's kind of art style, too. You know, it has its own style. It's a lot of fun. There is a bit of a challenge to it. And I don't know, like, if you notice that in the last couple of episodes when I'm fighting something, sometimes you get, like, this... Uh, hit ratio like you can hit sometimes but you can't hit sometimes and I'm wondering depending on the uh, weapon type you got or what not the uh, ratio of you know likely likelihood to hit is higher or lower or chance to hit really wonder when they're going to fix water and how is water going to play into the physics of like cardboard because, you know, everybody knows that cardboard becomes, it starts falling apart in water. Does uh, water damage you? Or will it just be like all other survival games where it's just water? Hmm. So many questions. And they do have planned uh, mounts. I think that if you load up the game, you'll notice that one of the characters is riding a T-Rex, it looks like. And I heard there's going to be mechs, dinosaur, uh, dinosaurs, mechs, dragons, maybe. All kinds of playing coolness coming up. Yeah, so uh, after this episode, I'm going to fill that shed with uh, chests and maybe something else. We'll see what we can do in there. Mainly chests, so I can have somewhere to store all my stuff, because your inventory fills up quickly. So, I'll save you guys that kind of a bore. And, I gotta build another room. I gotta think, where should I put a room? And if the developers are watching my videos, even though I sound like a nervous wreck for some reason in this episode, I don't know why. I'm just oddly nervous today. But, um, if the developers are watching, I would like, if you break down a wall, like say, if I need to remove this chest, because it's in the way now, and like to move it over there, I would love to, a way to pick up the item instead of destroying it forever, because if you hit the delete key while you're looking at this, it disappears. Or like a wall or anything else. You don't get nothing back for it. I would like a tool. Even if I have to build a tool. To be able to grab onto this. Pick it up and take it with me somewhere. Maybe have it drop all the items of something to be fair. So you have to like take the items out of it or whatever. But some way I can transplant something 
to another location without losing it forever because as you see I've been cutting down trees actually never mind okay I see what happens all right so I just realized this these trees are all back I cut every tree down right here from I left that tree to that tree right there but all these trees were cut down so I can build this house plus have extra wood to build tools and when you look at an item okay I'll show you here real quick let's see it doesn't show here all right if I go into crafting menu here and you go down to let's say this right here it says decay days away from server Okay, so if I build this item, like say this house right here, alright, this house I have right here, if I do not get back onto this server in seven days, all this disappears because it decays. Because if you're not going to play the game, there's no point to having this, especially if you're going to play on an online server. You're just filling in space that other people could be using if you're not going to be playing the game. So therefore, it's fair that way, right? But... Because that's it. that still works for regening the world, if that makes any sense. So after seven days, everything grows back. Plus, the server will reset and get rid of, you know, houses and structures from, you know, non-reoccurring characters or players. So if I don't play this in seven days, then all my structures will disappear. But all these trees and plants and everything else will respawn too. So now that makes sense. That's why they don't have any seeds to plant trees. Okay. If that makes any sense, if I can explain that correctly. So after every seven days, so basically a week, and if you're an active player, then your houses and stuff will stay, and all the trees that you have cut down recently will respawn. The world regens, or what you call... The server resets. And only parts that do not reset is what you've messed with. Like, see how I cut this land out right here to make it even with my house? That stayed because I'm an active user. I'm not gone for seven days. Alright, enough talking about that. But now I, now I understand. That's awesome. Everything regens. Oh, my inventory is getting full. I kind of want to go fight some more uh, red dude. Like the uh, red outline guys and get the uh, these souls. Let's go find see if we can find ourselves a red outline dude. And don't eat the rotten meat. Yeah. Stuff is nasty. Well, you know, in my other episodes I sound okay. I'm it's starting to sound better now. But for some reason when I started today, I was really nervous. Felt like I didn't know what I was going to be doing or something. I don't know what. I get that way all just just once in a while. All right, now let's go see if we can find ourselves a red outline enemy. I got a better sword, so I hopefully be able to take stuff down a little faster. Uh oh, okay. For a second there, I thought the because the server reset, will my uh waypoint that I chose this one here be reset but it's good it's all good I'm learning stuff every day in this game and you guys as my uh, the meerkat nation and the uh, just the, the average person come by watching my videos I thank you for joining me I welcome you to my channel and hope you subscribe and when you do and you when people like one of the viewers yesterday helping me out with you know noticing things I should have noticed I appreciate it all right this game looks pretty neat though I mean it has nice visuals I think I was saying what uh, earlier is that if you play Terraria or Starbound or even Minecraft because everything's in voxels means the whole world's voxels that means cubes pretty much and because everything's cubed you can estimate how tall your character is by how many blocks up they are or how many blocks wide they are you know stuff like that 
and in this game you can't do that because there's no voxels it is I don't even know what you can classify this as it doesn't break like a, a block Come on, wolf. I need I need some more uh, pelts. Thank you. Thank you for the pelts. I'm looking for the outlined enemies, the elites. I want an elite. We'll try to farm one more soul before uh, his health is not going down. Well, I know now that when I build another sim, if I'm going to build another scimitar, might change it up. But I should went the other way. <laughs> looks like a looks like a sickle. Well, he took a a lot of damage from me. He hurt me pretty pretty bad. I wonder, does it say my chance to hit anywhere here? Damage increase, damage bonus, hunger reduction. Yeah, does it say chance to hit? Huh. I do miss a lot. And I'm wondering if that's something. Because it's a copper sword. Uh oh. Floating plant. See, my sword should have worked just fine to get in that plant because it looks like a sickle as well. These honeyberries are actually, uh, they feed you better than the uh, springberries, I think they're called. Yeah, springberries and the uh, starberry. But they are a lot more rare, as you noticed. You don't see these plants as much as you see the white blooms and the, uh, which I don't see one now, the springberries. I think the most common would be spring berries. They're pretty much everywhere, except right where I'm looking. <laughs> Look at this wall, though. See, right when I saw this wall, I was thinking structures. See, in uh, Middle America, or uh, more towards the West Coast, there was a Indian tribe, or Native American tribe, that would build structures in the side of mountains like this. And you'd see houses with ladders and stuff going up. I remember in school building a diorama of the uh, this particular Indian tribe. I shouldn't say Indian tribe. I should say Native American tribe. And uh, yeah, this diorama was awesome. Made it out of clay and stuff. And I can't remember the tribe's name. They were like uh, over in the deserty side of the America. And uh, this reminds me of that. Just think, if you were standing here. And if I had the time to clear these caves out more and deepen them out and then build houses into them and have these little walk like caves that go behind these walls so you don't break the wall. You just go behind the wall and build another house here, ladder up, house here, you know, and have all these little houses on the side of this building or this mountain. Right when I saw this mountain, that's what, exactly what I thought. It was like... You can build like a mountain city. There's other places in the world that did that too. Where other uh, tribes in the world, not uh, Native Americans, but just uh, other peoples would build cities in the side of mountains. Well, this place is crazy. I don't know if anybody else had that first thought, but yeah, that's what my first thought was when I first saw this. That cave didn't have very much in it. If I dig into there a bit, I bet that I would find something. That seems like the uh, the climbing, walking animation can be a bit janky here and there. But, you know, they are still working on this game. I don't know how often they update. And I don't even know when they last updated. 
but they seem to still be active which is awesome because there's a lot of which is really sad is like I've noticed there's a several studios out there that'll start making a game that looks really promising but then they just give up on it and it's like why either like they lost heart in building it or they just lost the creative juices or whatever that allowed them to build the game to start with kind of like writer's block but it's really sad you know out there that that happens a lot more than you think because there's some of these ideas that people come up with for these games that are really unique and awesome it's not just your average first person shooter over and over again or another minecraft uh, minecraft <laughs> minecraft clone that we've seen a million times if they're going to build a minecraft styled game do something unique about it don't just build another minecraft clone with voxels and the same stuff over and over again do something different with it even if you're going to use voxels do something unique with it oh we got it we got a rare one this is what i was looking for are you ready he'll probably kill me come on dude and now i need to keep my health down or my um hunger down Come on. I got plenty of meat. Meat heals you the most at the moment. Alright. And I win. Yeah. You get three uh, equip slots, four souls. Oh man, my armor. That's still a good amount. Alright, what do we get? We got health increased by 102, stamina increased by 87, armor. Resistance. What resistance? Is there like elemental resistances? Damage increased by eight. Oh yeah. All three slots are taken up. Yeah, that's awesome. Seven hundred and seventy four health. Seven hundred and thirty nine uh stamina too. They head towards the home. It's getting nighttime. Uh, it's not getting nighttime. It is nighttime. If you guys have noticed, if you've been watching my videos for the last several days or or even months, for some reason I just feel really nervous in this episode. And I can't tell you why. Like I'm like slurring my words really bad, like worse than usual. Or I sound like a raving lunatic. Alright, we got some stuff done in this episode. We went mining. I made copper tools and a sword. Even though the pickaxe is getting pretty wore out already. Because I was mining a lot of dirt with it. And that takes down your... Whatever that's called. Durability. So that's what I'm talking about. My, I'm just like... Not doing so good on the uh, commentary today. But does that mean I'm not going to upload this video? No, it's still going to be uploaded. Well, you guys have a heck of a aggro range. Ah, I got the first hit. And sometimes you, I notice that even if I uh, swing, you see a hit marker hit the enemy, but yet the health won't go down. You run at me, but you're not attacking. Okay, one free kill. What was that? Basic machine parts, okay. Ow. There's a, so many of these goblins out here. Uh oh. This is not good. My health is like... I'm destroyed. And you can't run away from it. There's so many goblins. Like a thousand of them. Oh, I left my door open. 
How rude. Alright. Do I get to see my spire from this distance? Wonder how close you have to be before you can actually see the uh, light pillar where you died. Can I see my death on the map? That would be cool if I could zoom in. Maybe there's a way. I just don't know how to do it. Yeah, I don't see anything here. I just see me. The marker. I think I died around here. So let's go pick up my body. And not get more. Gobbies. Which has like a. Pretty wide range of. Aggro. Run. Run. I'm losing track of time too. What? Really dude? This is. This is really buggy. No, it works. Alright, where's my light pillar? Get off me, man. Get off me, dude. There it is. Yeah, they have an aggro range of like one mile away. Do I get to keep my um, souls? Because my health is still high. I guess whatever you have equipped it in your soul soul bars if you will loot all uh, my copper stuff is the only th stuff that stayed behind well that's fair very fair game And it doesn't put your items back in your inventory. How you had it set, it's all random. So therefore you don't have your anything. It's like your menu's just discombobulated completely. Yeah, stone sword can stay. It's almost broken anyways. Yeah, stone pickaxe can stay because it's almost broken. Yeah, I think it might just despawn. I'll keep this sword as backup though. Which is cool. And I'm running out of time. It's like way past my time to end of the episode here. But I'm having so much fun though, guys. Alright. Well. Let's head back home and I'll probably end the episode there. We got all three uh, soul slots taken up, which is awesome. I know I, I know I can go after more of the elite enemies and find better uh, mob souls, which I might do next episode. I mean, next episode, we'll probably go uh, splunking some more. I'll have a new house to show you guys. Might even tinker with that enchanting table if I can get one built. I don't know if I built one yet. No, I don't. So, I'll be building an enchanting table if I got all the right parts. This is not my copper sword, but it, what the heck? Well, you didn't even try. There's a lot of enemies around my house. <laughs> Alright. Well. Well, next episode, what I'm going to do is we're going to go splunking maybe a little bit, get some more uh, iron. I want some more iron. And maybe some more copper for armor, too. I want a new set of armor. And uh, I'm going to go and try to take on some more elites. We're going to build an enchanting table because I want to actually mess with the enchanting finally after all this time. I haven't actually messed with it. Kind of want to do that. And I want to build a crossbow. I wanted to do it that this episode, but I kind of ran out of time and I died. So, all right. Well, if you'd like to become part of the Meerkat Nation, hit that subscribe button and join today. I want to see those numbers grow, guys. Um, give me a chance here. I may be a new YouTuber, but don't pass me by, you know. I'm doing my best. And I am. It's a learning process, so I'm getting better every day. And with your guys' help, I'll always get better. And if you uh, like my commentary, even though I sounded nervous and weird, hit that like button to show you support. And if you didn't, still hit that like button to, to give me, you know, the incentive to want to keep going, you know. And to learn and get better at what I'm doing here. Every day I am. And next to that subscribe button, you'll see a bell icon. You hit that bell icon, you'll be notified of all my uploads so you never miss a thing. 
all these awesome quirky videos of mine. Alright guys, well, I'll see you later. Bye bye.